Ever since I was a third grader, I knew I wanted to be a nurse. So I, I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse for over 30 years. To be able to use my vocation that I have as a nurse, but the real job is to spread the word of Christ. You know, and that's what God just put us here. It really is to spread the word of the Lord and, and just go and be His hands and feet. are so there's guards there too in a gate um, you know just able to um, regulate how many people get in they're pretty and let me tell you they're pretty uh, they're very strict on it too they they won't let so many only certain amount of people in and out we have all the subspecialties that can be found in, in Tegucigalpa and this is meant for poor people, a hospital meant for poor people. Usually we have around 60 to 70 uh, newborns every day in this hospital and we have, uh, there are like around 2,000 outpatients coming into this hospital daily. So this is where we work with the teams when we come from the state to do surgeries. This is where Becky works doing hand surgeries with Dr. Howard and she can tell you more about the needs that you can find in this hospital. Usually the people here doesn't have the money to have preventive medicine so when they come here it's because or they are dying or their problem is huge. So you're gonna see some pathologies that in the States could be treated beforehand. You're gonna see it in the final stage here in this hospital. I think God likes us to live out of our comfort zone. I think we get comfortable, we take things for granted sometimes, you know, we just, you know, every day, you know, we're like our own little ways of doing things and our own things. And I think sometimes just having that faith, that leap of faith to step out of our comfort zone, to go somewhere else, even, you know, even like going on mission trips to me is like such an eye opener. It'll change you. It's really heartbreaking when you go in there and you pray with them, it really is, because you don't know the circumstances, then you find out, well, you know, my baby passed, but this lady, and all the other ladies have babies, and so, it is, it's heartbreaking. Everybody has a smile on their face and everybody could give a prayer. Just holding a hand, even if you don't speak Spanish, I don't speak a lot of Spanish. But the relationships you make down there with the people is what it's all about. The Lord orchestrates everything down there. I mean, there's things that sometimes cases get canceled and somebody just sitting with somebody. The prayer teams go into the different areas, the different divisions of the hospital and they're able to pray with the moms who lost a baby. Anybody could sit there and have compassion and just, just to be there. That's what we're asked to do, just to be loving to others. We'll be back in November, yeah. So we, we bring surgical casts, we, we give them some surgery. But he's such a helper to our team. I tell him, we'll look at the clock together and like, uh, one hour, and he'll say, no, two hours, and I'll say, an hour and a half, to get our instruments sterilized for our next case. It's so much fun, yeah. This is mission work, this is what. Our relationship is just, it's awesome. Even though I don't speak Spanish, she doesn't speak English, but we always get it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a gift to be taken to another country to go on a mission trip. There's no like, well, I can't do this, I can't do that, because the Lord will use you. The Lord puts you for a reason here. And His thought for all of us is to love one another and to go out and spread the gospel. Everybody could do that.